Perup, are you getting tired of being capped on your internet? Well, not anymore. WaveDirect has no data caps, and with great local customer service, why go anywhere else? 30-day trials are available. Call 775-253-3887. News 46 is brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. For more information, call 751-0349. News is also brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Half Price Lawyers, the only law firm in Pahrump with a low price guarantee. Located at 41 North Highway 160, Unit 11. Call 400-0000. Tonight on News 46, the 2014 Miss Pahrump is crowned on Saturday night. And animals everywhere. The shelter is busting at the seams. New Hope Fellowship plays host to the Shadow Mountain Community Players. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell and Jason Kodlitz. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Monday, June 30th, 2014. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. The Supreme Court ruled today that some corporations can hold religious objections that allow them to opt out of the new health law requirement that they cover contraceptives for women. The Justice's 5-4 decision is the first time that the High Court has ruled that profit-seeking businesses can hold religious views under federal law. Contraception is among a range of preventive services that must be provided at no extra charge under the health care law that President Barack Obama signed in 2010 and the Supreme Court upheld two years later. The court stressed that its ruling applies only to corporations that are under control of just a few people in which there is no essential difference between the business and its owners, like the Oklahoma-based Hobby Lobby chain of arts and craft stores that challenged the provision. Traffic was blocked yesterday afternoon on Highway 160 in Trout Canyon for Mercy Air to Land for a person who was injured after apparently falling off a truck. According to reports, the man was transported after he was attempting to make repairs on a vehicle and somehow fell off. The details are unclear at this time. Traffic was temporarily blocked while Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue and Mercy Air attended to the victim. He was then transported to UMC Trauma Center. KPVM received a call this morning from the individual who stated that he was doing well and has been released from the hospital. The 2014 Miss Perump Queen and her court were crowned Saturday night at the Saddle West. This is the moment of intense anticipation in which one contestant will reign as Miss Perump 2014. The young woman will represent our community in a variety of events during the year as a role model for our youth. Miss Perump 2014 is awarded to... Contestant number seven, Skyly Miller. I feel awesome. I'm so excited. So uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the competition. How was it for you? Um, it was great. I loved it. And my, sis my older sister, she got first attendant a few years ago, so I'm really proud of myself for getting first attendant also. Aww. So there you go. Yeah, familiar face. That's who I thought I had yeah. interviewed you before. But it's your sister. So tell me, how, how was the competition for you guys? Uh, did you guys think you were going to win? I just moved here not a while, not very long ago, so I was like, oh my gosh, all the other girls are so beautiful, and I don't even know what I'm doing. I was just super excited, so... Yep. Tell me about your, your experience. Um, I loved it. I thought um, this is my third year doing the pageant, and I feel like every year I do it, I progress. And um, even though last year was the same thing, like I didn't win any individual ones, but I still got second attendance, so it's the same thing this year. So I'm just really happy that they thought that my performance was pretty consistent throughout. So I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> what did you like most about the pageant? I love meeting all the new people and growing even closer to Skyly. I met her before, but I just, and I'm so happy about this core. And, I love both We're of them. Awesome. I've known Anna, I've known Skyly, and so I'm just, I'm so happy. What did you think about the on-air, um, on-stage question? 
You know, the on-stage question I didn't really have a problem with. I, we did practice questions. I thought I was fine and, you know, I was feeling pretty confident with myself. Do you think that they should keep that? I liked it because I like to talk, so. <laughs> and it was a surprise, so we were all expecting a surprise, and it was good. I liked it. So throughout the year, you guys are going to do ribbon cuttings and things yep. like that. You have a little bit of experience with that, Courtney? Yeah. She'll have to I, help me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I loved it. Um, this year we did more during the summer, and then as school went on, it just got really busy and stuff. But I think this year there'll be there's a lot of new things coming to town, and so I think it'll be a fun and exciting year. Yeah, well, we'll be seeing you throughout the year. Tell me a little bit about what your platform is, what you uh, are going to be looking forward to achieving this year. So my platform is called It Isn't Big to Make Others Feel Small, and it's an anti-bullying campaign. So what I want to do is go throughout schools and talk to younger children about bullying and tell them how to prevent it. And I want to start a thing in schools called the Bully Box. And that's where they write down how they're feeling, how they're being bullied, if someone's bullying them or if they think they're a bully. And then their teacher will personally um, open the Bully Box and then choose the kids and talk to them and then things will hopefully be solved. And your guys' platforms too as well, you're going to pursue them too or does her platform become your platform? Um, as attendance, our platform does become her platform. So we are here to support Skylie and do whatever she needs us to do. Congratulations to the Queen and her court. The Shadow Mountain Community Players held their final performance of the importance of being earnest at New Hope Fellowship this past weekend. We're doing an encore performance of the importance of being earnest down at New Hope Church. That's right on West Street there with the big yellow ball out there in front of it. It's a very excellent show. It's a good piece of theater, and we're happy to bring it to Pahrump. You parents nowadays pay any regard to what the children say to them. The old-fashioned respect for the young is fast dying out. Whatever influence I held over Mama, I lost at the age of three. And now she may prevent us from becoming man and wife, and I may marry someone else, and marry often. This is not a dinner theater. I say this is an encore performance on the theater end of it only. The last show went really well down there at uh, Sanders Family Winery on Kellogg, so this is going to be an encore performance. Right. The last show was a complete sellout, so we figured there are other people who wanted to see it, didn't get in to see it, so that's why we're doing an encore performance on it. The Shadow Mountain Community Players are working on their next play called Murder Most Foul, which will be out in August. When we come back from this break, we'll have your Desert View Hospital health tip. Prump, are you getting tired of being capped on your internet? Well, not anymore. WaveDirect has no data caps, and with great local customer service, why go anywhere else? 30-day trials are available. Call 775-253-3887. This portion of the news is brought to you by Integrity Taxi. Reliable, safe, and fun. Call Integrity Taxi at 751-1111. Welcome back to News 46. General Motors' latest recalls means the automaker has in just a half a year recalled nearly as many vehicles as a single year record for all automakers. The automaker today announced six new recalls involving more than 8.4 million vehicles worldwide, most of those for faulty ignition switches. In addition to the ignition switch recalls, the automaker is recalling vehicles for faulty wiring and fasteners. The latest vehicles recalled are connected to three fatalities, seven crashes, and eight injuries. GM's recall Calls have led the industry to recall more U.S. vehicles in the first six months of this year than any full year before. For more information on those recalls, you can find them on General Motors' website. Azithromycin is an antibiotic commonly prescribed for pneumonia. Prior research suggests that the drug may also be in association with increased risk of heart problems. A new study examined the risk and benefits of using azithromycin therapy in older patients hospitalized with pneumonia. This health tip is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mountain Valley Physicians Group. Don't put your health on hold. We have time for you. Call us to schedule your appointment, 775-751-7100. When a patient is diagnosed with pneumonia, doctors commonly use azithromycin to treat the infection. However, some studies suggest the antibiotic has been associated with an increased risk of heart problems. Since this is something that we commonly use for pneumonia, we wanted to see whether or not this was also true for patients uh, with pneumonia who get this antibiotic. Dr. Eric Mortensen from the Dallas VA Medical Center and co-authors examined the outcomes of nearly 65,000 veterans over the age of 65. 
The patients were all treated for pneumonia at VA hospitals across the country. Approximately half had received um, antibiotics, including azithromycin, and then half had received other types of antibiotics that we can use for pneumonia. Researchers studied survival rates of these patients during a 10-year period, and also whether they experienced heart attacks, heart failure, or abnormal heart rhythms. Patients who received azithromycin had a small increase in the number of heart attacks, however had much better survival than patients who did not receive azithromycin. For every one heart attack that did not lead to death, that it actually saved seven lives when uh, patients with pneumonia received azithromycin. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report. Researchers also say there was no increased risk of heart failure for or regular heartbeat in patients receiving azithromycin. Tales at Animal Shelter has a huge overcrowding issue right now. News 46 spoke to shelter worker Kathleen Rollins about the problems. Now that it's been taken over by new management, we are getting in a lot of animals. Everybody's bringing in their puppies, their small kittens. We have a lot of adoptions available. Please, we really need them to come down. We need some people to come and adopt. We're becoming overcrowded. So this is at the point of where you guys just cannot take in any more animals exactly. right now. Exactly. We are actually beginning to turn away people who come in with their mother, with a mother dog and all of their puppies. We, we can't fit them at the time. We, we need to have them taken. Spaying and neutering are so important right now, especially uh, during this time of year. Yes, it's very important. When you don't spay and you don't neuter, you end up bringing in an entire litter, and one person may take one puppy or maybe two, but that's the entire litter that's left either being euthanized, running the streets, emaciated, health care problems, just health problems just all over. It's very important. They've been trying to make this a no-kill shelter, and uh, in, unless there's a reason why that the animals have to be put down. But right now, at this point, you guys are too, full to capacity. You got in 22 dogs right now? Yes, ma'am, and we have a whole bunch more cats too. A lot. So, of so you're using all the buildings now here? Yes, we are. So the fees are $85 for non-spayed, non-neutered, and $85 for a non-spay, a non-neuter. But when they do get adopted, they get spayed and or neutered, they get the rabies vaccination that lasts one year, along with a license for them for one year as well. And if an animal comes in which is already spayed and neutered, it's even at a cheaper price, right? Yes, ma'am. It's only $40. And again, they still get their rabies and they still get their license along with the 40 Right behind the Nye County Courthouse on Syria and Kitty Hawk? Yes. What's the hours here? Um, it actually opens at 10 and we close at 4. And how many days a week? From now it's turning in from Monday to Friday, or Monday to Saturday, I'm sorry. We are closed on Sunday. All right. and so people can come on down, check out the animals, and definitely adopt. But if they can, please take care of your animals at home. That is really important. It's very important. The more animals we get in here are the less are the ones that are not getting adopted. You know, so when you spay and you neuter, you're saving an entire, what, 7 to 14 animals just by spaying and neuter one pet. What's the phone number? Oh, the phone number here is 775-751-7020. Thanks so much. You're welcome. And thank you. Please come on down. Take a look. Just take a look at them. You'll love them. I promise. I can hear Sarah McLaughlin singing when I see those shots. I love that cat in that bowl. It's, uh, I think we were calling it Kitty in a Cup. So get on down to the animal shelter and adopt an animal and get your ones that you already have spayed and neutered. Tails End Animal Shelter is extending their days of operation. They will be open now Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more information on how you can adopt a pet, give them a call. Or if you'd like to volunteer at Tails End, please call Susan at 910-3237 or Tanya at 910-1890. A federal appeals court says it will consider Nevada's gay marriage ban on September 8th. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco has scheduled 20 minutes of oral arguments in one case. The court will also hear arguments that morning over similar cases in Idaho and Hawaii. Eight same-sex couples argue that Nevada's voter-approved 2002 law defining marriage as between a man and a woman is unconstitutional. A federal judge in Reno upheld the law in 2012, sending it to the appeals court. In February, state lawyers withdrew their defense of the law, leaving the Coalition for the Protection of Marriage to argue it alone. Gay couples and lesbian couples can now marry in 19 states and the District of Columbia. When we come back from this break, we'll tell you how you can get your amateur radio license. Stay tuned. 
Today's news is brought to you in part by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Are you interested in getting your amateur radio license? Now is the time to get started. Next month we're having another become a ham radio operator class. Mm -hmm. It's uh, to, to learn what you need for the introductory license, introduction license. And so anybody can do this? Oh yeah, anybody that wants to do it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, ham radio is used, uh, well, for people like to chat on the radio and mm -hmm. stuff, but on the other hand, it's also used for emergency purposes too. In fact, the organization that sponsors this is Amateur Radio Emergency Service of Dye County, mm -hmm. and uh, our job is to go out and have, fill in or, and provide communications when the, the, the regular systems break down or get overloaded. And so, how would you prepare for this amateur radio exam? Uh, what you want to do is go to our website, which is www. W7NYE.org. Mm -hmm. W7NY.org. And click on the news page. And you, it, the program is, it, it is there in three or four paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Basically, what you do is you get a hold of the question pool, which is a, 400 and something questions, mm -hmm. uh, which, uh, from which we pick 35 mm -hmm. to ask you. Yeah. And so you study a little bit ahead of time. You can also c come to the class, which is right before the exam, so for kind of a refresher. Right. So what, the, what, what we ask you to do is download it and go through there, mark the right answers and study the questions and the right answers. Mm -hmm. And from 8 o'clock till noontime on the 12th of July, we will have a class where we go through all the questions and answers and fill in some more information that will help you understand them better. And then at one o'clock we have the examination, mm -hmm. and we have about a ninety percent pass rate. Right. And what would you need to become an amateur radio operator? Would you need to go out and buy this equipment? Is it expensive? Uh, you can get a handheld VHF uh, two meter transceiver for about a hundred, hundred two hundred dollars, mm -hmm. or you can find them used. Mm -hmm. uh, what you also, of course, need is a license. Oh, and by the way, you, you, when you come for, for, the, for, the, for the license, there is an administrative fee of $15. So you should uh, be prepared. Keep to that it goes to the national headquarters. Mm -hmm. And you need a positive ID like a driver's license. For more information, is there a number to call? Yeah, for more information, give me a call at 751-5242. And here's Angela Miles with today's First Business Brief. This is the first business brief for Monday, June 30th. I'm Angela Miles. The Obama administration is out with a plan to use $1 billion from the U.S. Treasury to build affordable rental housing. The president says the money will also go toward extending his Making Home Affordable program, which started five years ago during the financial crisis. Six million households still have mortgages that are underwater. Investors in Dollar General are not so pleased the CEO is stepping down. Dollar General shares slid 7% Friday on where the CEO is retiring next year. Sales numbers and the number of new stores are both up since he started in 2008. However, Dollar General is facing stiffer competition from Walmart and is offering more incentives to shoppers. And even though this is a short trading week, seven companies will eye IPO. Last Friday, Michael's debuted. That stock gained just two pennies. That's the first business brief. I'm Angela Miles. Thanks so much, Angela. I know most of you out there are talking about the weather. Everybody is asking you, is it hot enough for you and everything? It gets to the point where you're not even sure you want to talk about it anymore because it's so hot. Well, when we come back from this break, we're going to find out just how hot it is and what we're looking forward to for Independence Day and the parade and fireworks show. We'll be right back after this break. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today is Monday, June 30th. Today we had sunny skies with a high of 108 degrees. It was pretty hot out there today. Your average temperature at this time of year is 103 degrees. 
Winds are coming from the south-southwest today at 5 miles per hour with gusts up to 11 miles per hour. The UV index today was 10, which is very high. Humidity was at 17 percent. Sunrise is at 5.30 this morning, and the record high in 2013 was 117 degrees. Tonight we'll have clear skies with a low of 78 degrees. It's about your average temperature, too, at 79 degrees. Winds will be coming from the north at 3 miles per hour with gusts up to 7 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 24 percent. Sunset will be at 8.05 p.m., and the record low in 1970 was 60 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have sunny skies with a high of 110 degrees. Very hot outside. Make sure you're staying hydrated and wearing sunscreen if you go outside. Your low will be 78 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southwest at 6 miles per hour with gusts up to 13 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 22 percent. Sunrise will be at 5.31 a.m. And the UV index will be 11, which is extreme. For our seven-day forecast, we'll have a mostly cloudy week. We're finally running into some clouds here on Thursday, and they'll be sticking around probably until Sunday. Your high temperatures will be ranging from 105 to 110 degrees, and your low temperatures will be ranging from 75 degrees to 79 degrees. Thanks, Noah. See, it's not that hot. The record high was just last year with 113 degrees on this day, and uh, today being 110, so you're doing better. Uh, we also want to remind everybody once more that uh, in this extreme heat, we do have warnings out there that uh, if you do have friends or family members that are elderly or not in good health, please check on them more frequently. And of course, uh, children and keep them protected. Never leave an animal or a child in the car, even if the car is running and the air conditioning is on because it is unsafe. And you need to change your animal's water more frequently during this time because of the buildup uh, that there could be for bacteria. And of course, you want to keep it nice and cool and uh, fresh for them too as well. And take care out there and wear your sunscreen. That's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Deanna O'Donnell from everyone here at KPVM. Well, see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.